thumbs up. Welcome to the kitchen. Oh, I'll look at the lens. Welcome to the kitchen. Today, we're going to do uh, stuffed and battered chilies. These are big gyms. They can grow up to 12 inches long, up to a thousand Scoville units. What are you doing? Ah, we're going to stuff them with cream cheese and thank you. Dip them in batter, deep fry them, and that'll be lunch. Thank you. That's my assistant, by the way. I've just got a batter for deep frying recipe off the internet. I'll put all the ingredients in the description. But, we're gonna, in a mixing bowl. I won't need the chopping board for now. In a mixing bowl. Combine the flour, cornstarch, baking powder and salt. So we want a cup of all-purpose flour. Oh no. Half a cup. Half a cup. Half a cup of flour. Quarter of a cup of cornstarch. Corn flour. Is corn flour the same as cornstarch? Quarter of a cup. Into the pot. Baking powder. One teaspoon. One teaspoon, is this a teaspoon? One teaspoon of baking powder. Quarter of a teaspoon of salt. But watch the salt. You've got dodgy kidneys. Salt. And put that away. Yeah, so I'll just mix that up. The dry ingredients. It says to mix the other ingredients in a separate bowl, but I'm just going to stick it in here. Half a cup of water plus a tablespoon. A bit random, but there you go. That's a little bit more than that. It says a tablespoon of beaten egg, but I'll just stick the whole egg in. One tablespoon of vegetable oil. Well, we don't have vegetable oil. We are the tournesol, sunflower oil. That'll have to do. So, a tablespoon of that. There we go. Pop that in there out of the way. So we'll give this a good whisk up now. I 
We'll set up so it's nice and uh, smooth, no lumps. I'll just take a picture for my blog. Keep all this social media up to date, haven't we? Oh, it's a motorbike. I thought it was raining. There's the batter. We're going to stand that to one side. Um, now we're going to do the chilies. What we're going to do with these, we're going to cut the ends off um, and then slit them, put one slit down them, and then I'm going to stuff them with. Cream cheese. So it should be very nice. So if I cut the stalk off, the cream cheese shouldn't leak out the end because I'm not going to take the, the seeds out or anything like that. We're going to leave the seeds in there because these are not the spiciest of chilies. There are only a thousand on the Scoville scale. So they smell nice. So now I'm going to. I'm not going to slit right to the end because that will just fall apart and then any stuffing that we put in it is just going to leak out. So I'm going to come in a little bit. I'm just going to cut a slit from there downwards. So let's. And that should open up now. And what I can do, fill that with cream cheese and it should just close up like that and it won't leak out the end. We can dip that in the batter and uh, deep fry it. have it they're all cut so now I'm gonna put them out of the way get the cream cheese it's like the Krypton factor getting into this aha right Bit naughty that. Yes, it was. Why? It was nice, isn't it? I didn't use my fingers. Did you use the spoon? Yeah, off the spoon. But I had finished. Right, so there's all the chilies stuffed with cream cheese. Got it all over my fingers. So now I can wash my hands and uh, get the fryer out, get the oil hot, and dunk the chilies in the batter, in the fryer. Job done. And we're recording! I keep looking at the screen, but I should look at the lens. It's you.
It's you. Got the chili stuffed. Stuffed? I got the chili stuffed with cream cheese. Here's the batter we made earlier. The plan is now, throw my sleeves up. I'm gonna dunk the chili in the batter. Drip off the excess. Pop it in the oil. Can you get me a bit of kitchen towel, please? That's bibbling away in the oil now. Metal tongs. Just want doing until they're sort of golden coloured. So in the meantime. We'll get another one on the go. Try and get the whole chilli covered. Let the excess drip off. There's only room for a couple in there, so I'll have to do them a couple at a time. Might get a little one in there. If you're doing it in a, a wok style frying pan, so you want an inch, inch and a half of oil, make sure the oil's really hot. Um, if you're sort of shallow frying it like that, you need to do a couple of minutes each side until they're sort of golden brown. Here's one. It's a messy job. So there we have it, stuffed with cream cheese and battered Big Jim chilies. So now we've got to try and eat them. So let's see what this turns out like. I wonder if I did cook the chilies a little bit beforehand, they'd be a bit softer. Mm -hmm. they're, they're not, I don't mind them crunchy. No, they're crunchy. They're not raw, <coughs> but they are just got a slight crunch to them, which we both like, so that's a Brucey bonus. Keep looking at the screen, I should be looking at the lens. 
You could do it with smaller chilies, but they're going to be a bit more fiddly, aren't they? I think the recipe, um, some of the recipes I was looking at was the Mexican recipes. They got a funny name, I can't remember what they call them, Rolinos or something. Mm. They use jalapeno chilies. Mm. Oh, that one's spicy. This one's quite spicy actually. And only a thousand on the Scovilles. I wonder if. No, they are big, they're all big gyms, they were labelled up. Mm. <clears throat> So there we go, clean plates all round, what a success. We wasn't going to be growing big gyms next year because we didn't really know what we were going to do with them. Um, but because they were so nice, I think we probably will grow them again next year. So that's all for me, the paraplegic gardener in the kitchen. I managed to squeeze in, Tina let me in the kitchen. She even let me use some of her utensils. She was guarding them a little bit, but. Um, Don't expect it too often. No. So, yeah, if you like this video, please click the thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, it's a bye for now.